Hi everyone, this video is a makeup brushes guide for beginners. In today's video, we are going to talk about the only 10 makeup brushes you need as a beginner. So let's get started. The first brush is a flat top foundation brush. You can use this brush for a lot of things. You don't have to have a specific brush for each step. I have two brushes in this category. First is from Mars from their artist's arsenal set. And the second one is the Pac 265 flat top foundation blending brush. Both of these have fine densely packed bristles. They are extremely gentle on the skin. The pack one blends the foundation a bit quicker than the Mars brush but the Mars brush is an amazing dupe of the pack foundation brush. I'm going to start off with foundation. You will not get any brush strokes with any of these brushes. These are good quality affordable foundation brushes. I'm using the Mars brush to blend the foundation on right side and the pack one to blend the foundation on left side. Both the brushes give seamless flawless finish. You will not need a beauty blender if you use these to apply a foundation. You can also use these brushes to apply or blend cream blush or a lip and cheek tint. Here I am using the cuffs and lashes. Let's go tinting lip and cheek tint on my cheeks and the Mars flat top brush. It blends the tint seamlessly into the skin as you can see. It will shear out the tint a bit. You can build it up according to your need. Not just that, you can also blend cream contour with a flat top foundation brush. You can use the edge of the brush to blend out the contour in the hollow of your cheekbones and you can use it normally on your forehead. So you just need one brush for foundation, cream blush and cream contour. After this we have a concealer brush. My favorite concealer brush is the Pack 2 and 8 concealer brush. I also love an angled concealer brush like this one from Cuffs and Lashes. This is the Cuffs and Lashes F011. This is an angled brush and it's really good for covering spots and pigmentation. You can use this brush in areas where you want to build up the foundation. You can easily cover hyperpigmentation and acne marks with this brush provided your foundation has high coverage. Along with that, this is also an amazing brush to blend the nose contour. You can also blend your concealer with this brush. It works really well with cream concealers and not that well with liquid concealers, I'd say. You can also blend your eyeshadow base with this brush. The angle of this brush is really good. It sits nicely on the eyes, under the eyes and in the inner corner. For blending liquid concealers, I will highly recommend the Pack 218 concealer brush. I love this brush a lot and I've had it for so long, I don't even remember when I purchased it. You don't need both the concealer brushes I mentioned. If you want an affordable option, go for the cuffs and lashes brush and if you want to spend a little more, you can go for the pack brush. Now you will get minimal product wastage with the pack brush and you get maximum coverage. And it's extremely durable, it's a long lasting brush, it's kind of a one time investment. You can spend 500 rupees on this brush and you can use it for years. The third brush is a powder brush. This is the Pac 245 powder brush. It's so feathery, it's very soft on the skin. It's the best powder brush I have. You can use it for setting the under eyes or your entire face. You can use it with compacts or even loose powders. This once again is very durable and long lasting. Let's get to the eyes. The first brush is a big and fluffy blending brush. This is the Pack 393 eyeshadow blending brush. This is a really good brush to lay your transition shade or even to set your eyeshadow base. There are just a couple of things you need to keep in mind before purchasing this brush. It will shed some hair when it's new and you have to handle it gently. Don't wash it with hot water. After this is a small eyeshadow blending brush from Mars. You can start with this if you have small eyes or if you do not have a lot of lid space. This is not as soft as the pack brush because obviously this has synthetic fibers and that had natural hair but it blends the eyeshadow really well i generally use it for crease shades that are darker it helps in defining the crease you can also use this to pack eyeshadow on the outer corner of your eyes and then you can just simply blend it into the crease 
All I want to say is that this is a little bit more focused than the pack brush. The pack 393 brush is good for transition shades or for a blown out look but this is good for blending eyeshadow into your crease. Then I have a pencil smudger brush. This is the Pro Art Smudging Smoky Liner Brush in PE29. If you like creating smoky eye looks, this is a really good brush to have in your kit. You can smudge out liner to create a smoky eye look. You can also use it on your lower lash line and you can also use it on your inner corners. Overall, it's a really good pencil smudger brush that can be used for creating smoky eyes. Next is a flat brush that can be used for the application of metallic or shimmer eyeshadow or even matte shades on the eyelid. This one is the Plume P18 brush. You can also use it with concealer for spot correction or you can also use it for applying eyeshadow base. It's another really good multi-purpose brush. Now let's move on to the lower lash line. The Plume P24 brush is the best one you can find for applying eyeshadow in your lower lash line. It fits perfectly in the eye socket and you can easily apply any shade in your lower lash line with this brush. Next is a powder contour brush. This is from Allure. This is their 127 Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. It's an angled contouring brush. This can be used for applying powder contour, blush or bronzer. Due to the angle, this brush sits really nicely on your face, especially under your cheekbones. I like using it with powder contour and bronzer. This brush is very soft. It has synthetic fiber. It also sits really well on the jawline. And you can blend the contour seamlessly with this brush. You also get a really precise application with this brush. So if you want sharp contour, you can definitely get that kind of finish with this brush. But it's not just for snatched face or for sharp contouring. You can also diffuse out the contour, so that's not going to be a problem. Then let's move on to the blush brush. This one is from Lottie London and it's their powder brush. It can be used for blush too. You can also use angled brushes for blush application. I have a lot of blush brushes so it was a bit difficult to choose one of them. This one is for loose and pressed powders. It has extremely soft bristles so you can blend the brush really easily. It also doesn't pick up a lot of product in one go so you can control the pigmentation. You can also use this brush to apply bronzer. For highlighter, I find myself using a fan brush most of the time. This one is from Plume and I don't have a lot to say about fan brushes because I like all of them. And that's it, that was the last brush. I am going to link all the brushes in the description box along with all the products that I used in this video. Do let me know if you have any queries about the products or the brushes. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!